Ned Lamont's Supreme Court nominee has really cleared a major hurdle. Today, the Judiciary Committee has approved Nora Danahy to serve on the state's highest court, but she still needs approval by the full legislature. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live right now in Hartford, where lawmakers were asking a lot of questions today. Susan? Mark, they certainly will were. And in fact, this hearing that was held by the Judiciary Committee took about four hours before it was over. In the end, a majority of the people on this Judiciary Committee feel that Nora Danahy is a good choice. If I had a view um, about an issue, I would not be hesitant to voice that. Danahy is a former federal prosecutor. She was Connecticut's U.S. attorney, the first woman to hold that office. And she is well known for successfully prosecuting former Governor John Rowland. And most recently, she was a corporate lawyer. She has faced some tough criticism for her sudden resignation while working for U.S. Attorney John Durham on the investigation into ties between Russia and former President Trump. Today, she said, the court should stay out of the political fray. The Department of Justice has a long-standing policy of not taking any public actions in the time leading up to an election that might influence that election. I simply couldn't be part of it, so I resigned. But what we're seeing in there is someone who is certainly very well educated, has the right temperament to be a justice of our Supreme Court. Danahy is Governor Lamont's second choice. His first was Sandra Glover, who withdrew her nomination amid concerns over her commitment to upholding Connecticut's strong reproductive rights laws. Danahy was asked what U.S. Supreme Court decisions she disagreed with. She said it was the Dobbs case, which took away the constitutional right to an abortion. They took away an individual right. Republican Craig Fishbein feels Danahy lacks experience defending real people. Well, overall, I mean, if we look at the, at the whole panel of the Supreme Court, I don't think anybody has any experience with actually working, you know, with, with people on the street. And again, Mark, as you had mentioned, Danahy does face a full vote by the General Assembly. It is not a done deal yet. But given the fact that the Judiciary Committee overwhelmingly supported her today, as well as legislative leaders also do, she has a very good chance of getting through the vote next week. We are live in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Susan.